that I spend the day serving others is something that I am passionate about. Thank you so much for being a part of Inspired Citizen. We're at the beautiful Oyster Bay Hotel in Dar es Salaam, which is kind of, a, for us, an exotic locale. And I wanted to ask you questions about your story because I thought it was so amazing. You started business when you were pretty young. I mean, 15 years old is, for most, you know, what are most kids doing at 15? What made you interested at such a young age? I think my parents had a big part. Um, that's simply because they used to complain on the schedules that they were given at work. So early on, and together with all the love and affection that I got at home, and knowing that they were educated people, um, but I always knew that from the beginning, they were not happy. I felt like um, doing business would allow me to have the freedom. But most importantly is, what type of business, business can I do that would make a difference? So how did you get into deciding solar panels are something that I should be interested in? Researching on the statistics of the power distribution in Tanzania, uh, at that time we're looking at about uh, less than 10%. They had power yes, in the entire country? In the entire country. When did it actually become a business when you said, I can make a business out of this? It was a challenge. Um, I was 22. In the small town that I came from in Arusha, I basically everybody started calling me the solar guy. You were Mr. Sun. Mr. Sun. <laughs> and now your company is very big and you install solar panels for people like the United Nations. I mean, that's huge. What was the tipping point in your company? The type of service we offered. And through recommendation, we were able to get opportunities. What did you have to tell yourself every day to get through the challenges that you probably face? As an entrepreneur, it's important to understand that you should be willing to invest in time, have the long-term vision. By the time we started doing solar energy, if you look at the industry, we were the first company in the Northern Circle. And being the first company, still, there wasn't a good response. For like a year, we were, business was extremely hard. We couldn't even afford to pay rent. I know you do some charity work too, and um, you, know, you bring energy to places that otherwise wouldn't have energy. For us, we started off the Light for Life Foundation. Being able to power schools meant that dormitories, meant that um, the classes were lead, students can study for longer hours. I you know, um, having a, 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 a woman in a kiosk that used to close down at 6 o'clock, now they run until 10, and they would have four extra hours every day to generate more income. At the end of the day, a business should always be able to change people's lives. I think it's what's important and what remains key is to find something that you're truly passionate about. Look at that idea in the short term, long term. Um, go with your gut feeling. It allows me to see how best I can serve more people and distribute my time so that I can be able to inspire change in my community.